Well, this cold snap is driving up energy prices for local families who are being forced to use more fuel than usual to heat their homes. And now some local groups are stepping up to help needy families keep warm. Our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Andrew Adamson. Another frigid day means another day where some needy Rhode Islanders have to worry about how they're going to pay their energy bills. Some local heat and assistance programs are trying to give a helping hand, and one such organization got a big boost today. Maria Centeno's birthday got off to a bit of a chilly start this morning in North Providence. It's cold. I can't believe how cold it is today. I mean, since yesterday, we've just been dying. She says it's hard to focus on celebrating while she struggles to pay her energy bills to heat her family's home. We spend more money for heating, and especially here I do have oil so I'm not lucky to get gas in this house for sure. With the help of local heat and assistance programs, Santeo and other needy Rhode Island families are getting help with energy costs. One program run by the Roman Catholic Diocese of Providence is called Keep the Heat On. No one should ever uh, have to choose between staying warm and, uh, and paying other bills. Keep the Heat On has already helped more than 500 families in the state over the last year, and they'll be able to assist even more thanks to a $70,000 grant from the National Grid Foundation. Comes at just the right time in the midst of a very frigid winter. A major, it's going to have a major effect on Rhode Island families. It's a beautiful program. I think it's wonderful to help out. I'm told that at least 325 needy families throughout the state will benefit from this grant. In the newsroom, Andrew Adamson, Eyewitness News.